This is a kind of a mixed uh, uh, podcast or vlog where I am going to tell you about a concept called PE, the price earning ratio the, uh, or contribution of Warren Buffett to investors. The PE ratio is the amount of respect that a company gets uh, from the investors. So companies which have very consistent track record and pays, uh, has a clear uh, payout uh, number ratio. It says if we thirty percent will be the payout. If we earn hundred bucks, we will pay out thirty rupees or thirty three rupees, whatever. So when they have clarity, when their income is consistent, when they are very stable, so those companies get very high PE, normally good PE. So like the case of say HFC Limited. So how to get a good PE? What else do you have to do? Is to have tremendous amount of respectability. Now, uh, let us go to Buffett. What happens is the amount of contribution of Buffett to uh, the world investment knowledge is huge, humongous. And he, um, I think like Morgan Housel, uh, he also believes that investing is very, uh, not very difficult. And the same things have to be said again and again. So if you take all my videos, look at the number of times I would have said compounding, uh, start early, don't interrupt the compounding, right? So largely that. So a uh, person like Buffett, who is actually trailing the market at least for the last seven, eight years, 10 years, uh, what makes people so attracted towards him that they don't dump his shares and go somewhere else? He has uh, underperformed, if he has underperformed the index for the last 10 years, then the question is why not be in the index, why be in Berkshire Hathaway? Now look at the contribution that man has done to the whole investment community. One, education. He has kept on repeating simple things like, you know, keep things simple and uh, lot of advice and very consistent in what he has done and you got uh, to go back to his letters which i think should be available at least from 1980 so you're talking of 40 years of letters which is which are available and they have uh, some have a very specific focus on what they want to do and some uh, would be the same message going again and again right so he says the same things if you don't know, and I completely quote him, if you don't know where to invest, you don't know how to invest, if you don't want to sit and learn how to invest, indexing is a fantastic option which is available. Imagine a person like Berkshire Hathaway uh, being able to say that it is largely because he is not a fee-oriented investor, he is not trying to gather assets, but believe me, it is helping him retain investors holding to his PE in spite of his underperformance. So, of course, I'm not even saying that he does not benefit. When he talks something about risk, you could be 100% sure that some of his insurance companies, reinsurance are trying to sell exactly that, right? So, you have to be worried about what he says if you are a customer of his or uh, be very clear that you will listen to him, listen to what he says, read what he says and then do exactly what you want. But it is a great place for learning. So educating investors is one thing which uh, he has definitely uh, done a great job. He has also told us how to handle our emotions while investing. And uh, he has also said how to handle biases and this is much before the uh, behavioral finance became such a big hit with Thaler getting the Nobel Prize and things like that. So he has been talking about biases and how to avoid biases and what he does to avoid biases and how Charlie Munger is the person to whom he goes and uh, discusses any uh, piece of information, whether it is investing, whether it is disinvesting, right? So that is uh, one thing and uh, he's always been a long term optimist especially on US. He keeps on making statements like don't bet against the US, be a long term optimist, short term the market can do whatever it wants. But in the long run if the economy does well and which he is 100% confident that the US economy will do well and therefore he is always, almost always bullish. He may be, uh, you may think he is not very bullish because of the amount of cash that he holds but the fact that he holds cash and not gold shows that he is more optimistic about the fiat currency than about the physical gold or some cryptocurrency or things like that, right? So long term optimist about America is something very clearly how you define uh, Buffett. Uh, the ability to sit tight over long periods of time 
and also say that uh, well uh, just sitting tight could cost you money in terms of opportunity cost of the money gets used today if i have to keep money in an hdfc bank or even a state bank of india i think the savings bank account interest beyond a particular level is about 2% per annum so the question is do i have enough stocks in the market where i can target more than 2% per annum uh 2% absolute returns and uh, where there is not much risk of downside so if i make 4% i actually now have the capacity to lose 2% right because my uh, threshold level or hurdle level is very low so you have to have the ability to sit tight uh, saying when there is a sale i will buy uh one more thing which buffett uh, talks about which i think all of us should follow is the investment process if you start writing down the process uh i don't see any mutual fund other than dsp willing to write it down and share it with you so uh, largely in case of mutual funds for example they don't they have a, a bunch of schemes and they don't even know which is performing how it is performing no chance how they will know unless they have a uh mis which tells them every day and attracts attention saying this fund has done well this fund has done well in the last 12 days last 15 days right otherwise they just have uh, too many uh, funds so if you have a fund uh, if you are an investor focus on the investment process and see how the process works find out how much is the fees that you are being charged and how much is the fees that you are paying for other services like accounting services and uh, investment advisory and things like that uh, check out whether it is worthwhile for you to become an uh, to go to an ria or to an mfd the choice is completely yours right uh, so focus on how much you are being charged and how much is the fees and uh, coming back to what i said earlier completely believing in simplicity it's very difficult to give that advice uh, for people who are just starting afresh and they want some they're reaching for action every day they want to buy and sell and things like that but the simplicity is an index fund you can be in an index fund and still make money right that's that's very important uh buffett also talks about giving back to society though i have some difference of opinion between the american way of giving and the indian way of giving but yes even there he says put a process process or a procedure and make sure that you stick to that so that's important right to create a process of investing and the process of giving away uh it may sound a little conflicting but yes both are important tasks which uh, have to be performed right thank you